Hey guys, it's Joshy here, and I'm back with another Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi Fi battle. So, this was against Evan off Discord, which is linked below if you want to battle me. Um, it is a PU battle, and it was a bunch of fun. But I think today, let's uh, we'll surf that like button just because I that was a it, it, that move helped out. Anyway, let's get into the battle. So, as I said, it was against Evan, it was a PU battle. So, I decided I let off with my Cricketune, which I have. Now, this Cricketune is actually to work in tandem with another Pokemon, and we may see why this battle. So, he leads off with U Ducks, which is his um, obviously his far fetch. Now, I was like, okay, well, let's see. I do outspeed because I am, I believe I'm timid max speed. So that works out well for what I want. So I've just gone for the sticky web. I also have max HP as well. Now, instead of carrying the um, focus sash, which you would for a web setter usually, I've actually got a salic berry, so I'm not going to survive there. But there's a reason I carry the salic berry in case I can get a certain move off. So he takes large recoil from that. So I thought, cool, he's a physical attacker. This is the perfect part. It'd bring in Furfru, which is actually the Pokemon that is built to work in tandem. So this is a special Furfru with Charge Beam, Surf, Dark Pulse, and I also do have Echo Voice, which Cricketoon does also have. So the idea is if I can survive a hit badly enough, I can actually get an Echo Voice off before I go down and come in and start spamming it. Now, Furfru also does have a... Um, weakness policy, which I find works really well because generally, um, you know, fighting moves are more physical and Furfru actually has the um, fur coat ability, which halves damage taken by physical moves. So here I decided to start spamming my echoed voice, knowing I'd take it out with that. Unfortunately, he swaps into his Regirock. Now, we can really get to see... Uh, some special things here. So I get to go for the Surf, which obviously I'm expecting with a plus one in special attack to do all right damage. So I do easily around, well, two thirds of it. And then his weakness policy activates. So I'm like, okay, I'm probably going to take a big hit here. We'll see what's going to happen from Cocoa Puff, um, which is actually a really cool name. Um, and he goes for Rock Polish. And I'm like, shizniz. So anyway, I went for Surf again, and I outspeed, which is just showing you how uh, powerful Sticky Webs can actually be. I usually don't run too many entry hazards, but the reason I do run um, Sticky Web is just so that I can make sure Furfru does outspeed a couple of fast things. So now he's going to bring in the Kingler, and I'm like, awesome. So this is probably, I, I, I mean, I don't know if he's going to be physical or special. I'm hoping physical now. I know I will at speed. So hoping for a physical, I'm going to go for a Charge Beam. I was hoping he'd possibly pull out a Brick Break or something, so that way I could get my activation. But um, I get my boost, so I'm like, sweet. If I can get a Weakness Policy here, ah. Uh. So then he goes to pull out his Zemo, so I'm like, okay, well, if this is physical and I'm, you know, and he's not massively invested or something, there's a chance, but I feel from the range I'm sitting at, a good Hydro Vortex will probably take me out, especially if it's designed to be a bit of a nuke move. So anyway, he's going to hit me hard, and I'm like, come on, from full health, if it's physical, I'd expect to live, but unfortunately, I ain't at full health anymore. So Furfru is going to go down there, which was a little bit of a shame, but... It doesn't matter. So I thought, here's a good chance. Let me bring in my Dedenne. So I love this Dedenne set as well. I can't help but use it a bit. So anyway, Kingler's going to go back there, and I'm gonna, he's going to bring out Stargazer, which I was like, oh, this is cool. I really do need to work on some Gothitelle breeding. But anyway, he gets caught in the sticky web. Probably doesn't matter too much, but then it probably also matters for the simple fact that he's probably a trick room set. I would guarantee that we're going to see that. So I just went for the charge beam here. I thought that should be, if I'm lucky enough, I get my boost, which is nice. I even get a crit, which is even better. Obviously, this thing is specially defensive. So I thought, here, I'm going to go for a charge. I could have gone for another charge beam, but I was thought, you know, raising my special defense against the Gothitelle is probably a good idea. And then it pulls out the Zen head button. I'm like, or oh, not. So it's going to do all right damage. Just, you know, not quite half. So I'm going to go for the Parabolic Charge. Now with plus one and a charge beforehand, I'm expecting to do a fair chunk of damage. And I did. So, you know, maybe going for a um, Charge Beam would have worked as well. So I get a boost and wouldn't have knocked him quite into his Argoav Berry area. But who knows. So now he goes for Heal Block, which sucks. So it's probably very lucky that I ended up going for my Parabolic Charge there. So I thought, okay, well, let's go for the Charge Beam. I won't take him out with a Parabolic Charge this turn because I haven't got a charge. For those who don't know, I believe you get an extra 50% power on Electric Move if you use the turn after charge. 
So he goes for another Zen Headbutt. Going to knock me under half. Unfortunately, Parabolic Charge isn't going to kill him. So I decided to go for a Charge Beam. Sorry, it's not going to heal me when I kill him. So I thought I'll go for a Charge Beam. I thought I would have had a better chance. I actually thought I'd take him out. So unfortunately, I don't. I'd live there on 2 HP. But... I was unlucky. So here I just thought, stuff it. I'm going for Grass Knot just because I can. Um, and I have take out there. Stargazer's gone. So now, you know... I was hoping whatever he bought in, we'll see how strong it is. So he's got his um, far-fetched here, so I was like, okay, let's have a look. So he does pull out the first impression, which I do believe is a cool move that he gets. A little interesting but cool. I still think Cricketune deserves it so much, whether it's breeding or whatnot. I think Cricketune really deserves that move, but that's, an, yeah. Anyway, so Survivor's coming in, so I'm like, okay, well, here I decided to go for a switcheroo. I actually thought this thing was banded or scarfed. I wasn't sure, but... Um, he didn't swap, and so I traded in my Adrenaline Orb. So it is a bit of a different um, item to run, but having a um, special move or so, I like to run it anyway. So anyway, he's going to go for the Brave Bird. Does a lot of damage, but it will be taking him out. Unfortunately, I didn't get a Choice Scarf or Band. I actually just get this damn stick. So now he's going to bring in Unknown, which is the shiny Unknown. I'm pretty sure he did get from Pimp Knight's giveaway, which, if I recall correctly, I need to get mine. But anyway, he's going to go for the Hidden Power, and although I am down, I am very happy to see a uh, Unknown kill. Also, you'll notice it's the wrong Unknown on the side. I need to get the shiny Sprite. So anyway, I thought, let's bring in Buffle Rant. And here we go. So I'm just going to start spamming Head Charge. So I believe I'm Choice Scarf to give me the speed because I don't generally have the best speed. But then, you know, his attack is quite nice. So I've got Sap Sipper as well, I do believe. So anyway, I take that out. So I've got three, uh, sorry, two more to deal with. Not three. I'll count eventually. So now his speed's going to fall. I'm going to go for the Head Charge. I'm hoping to do a large amount of damage. We'll see here. So... You know, I don't know if I'll take him out or not at full HP. And he does just live. And he goes for the wild charge. So, I, you know, I'm going to just live there, which does suck on his side. So, you know, without webs, it could have been interesting. Or possibly, you know, if he got a um, paralysis off on me that turn, we could have seen. But Kingler is going to come out. It's going to get caught in the sticky web. And me being scarfed and him being in sticky web, I'm going to outspeed with a head charge. And I would have been incredibly surprised if I didn't outspeed and kill this Kingler here. So unfortunately for him, Kingler is going down there. But I'm going to win this one 2-0, just clinging on with the Buffle Rant. So almost just 1-0. But it was a really sweet battle. I loved it. And I really enjoyed it from start to end. So as I said before, if you did enjoy this, please do surf that like button. Also, don't forget, Discord, Twitch, and Twitter is linked below. So they're good places to jump on, especially Discord for battles and that. Um, I very busy but if you you know with life not youtube but if you need to hit me up on there you're more than welcome to also don't forget use the comment section i love hearing back from you guys even if it's suggestions or challenges or whatnot throw it down there i always listen i may not get to them all and some i do get to may take a while but i love hearing them anyway and finally guys if you want to keep up to date with our but my battles my other playthroughs or anything or any just gameplay or whatnot i'm putting out hit that sub button because you know it'll keep you up to date and it definitely helps me out. But anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.